Hello, in this video, I will show you how to use the Pi Camera 2 library, which is a new library for the cameras connected with the flat ribbon cable. Just pay attention, it doesn't work with cameras connected with the USB port or over networks. And this library is a replacement for the legacy Pi Camera library and it's built on top of the open source Lib Camera library and it is also easier to use also if you're still using a raspberry pi os legacy you should continue with the old pi camera library if you don't know which os you are using you can simply use cat slash etc slash os release and if you enter this command you can see your os and mine is bursai 11 I will also show you I'm using the 64-bit OS, so I can write uname space minus m, so uname space minus m, and I have the 64-bit OS. Also, you need to disable your legacy camera, so you will go to your Raspberry config with the command line uh, sudo space Raspberry config, and if you enter it, you go to interface options and then legacy camera. And to the question, would you like to enable legacy camera support? You answer no. And legacy camera support is disabled, which is okay. So finish and I will clear the screen. screen. Uh, also, since the middle of September, 2022, the Pi Camera 2 library is pre-installed in all operating system images, but if not, or if you want to update it, you can write sudo space apt space uh, install space minus y space python3 minus Pi Camera 2. And if you run it, it will install or update your library and mine there is zero update because I have installed it this morning. So now I will show you uh, with my script camera.py how to preview the camera. And uh, so if I open my script, okay, we will start with the import of the libraries. So we can write from uh, pi camera to import camera to and preview because we would like to preview the camera and we will also import the time so import time and we will create our first object pycam2 equal to pycamera2 from the library pycamera2 and we will uh, open the window to preview the camera so we will use the command line pycam2 dot start underscore preview and you will use the preview library so preview dot qtgl which is the qt gui toolkit and it will uh, display the image but it doesn't start the camera so we uh, which means we need to start the camera with the command line uh, pi cam to dot start so pi cam to dot start okay and in this case we will uh, start the camera and we will display it for three seconds so time dot slips of three and we will also add a time of three seconds between the open of the preview window and the starting of the camera so if we start the script it will first display the preview window and then the camera. So here you have the preview window, then three seconds later, the camera is opening for three seconds. Okay, we can do the same uh, for, uh, so we can delete the time dot sleep of three seconds. Uh, we can also stop the camera. So we can uh, write pycan 2stop and we will also stop the preview of the window. So pycam2.stop preview. 
Okay, and if we save this script and run it, we can see directly uh, the preview is opening and the camera is starting. Uh, wait, take a while. Okay, perfect. For three seconds, and then it will stop. Perfect. Now I would like to show you how to take a picture with the camera. So here again, we can open the script. We can delete what we don't need anymore. So almost everything. Okay. And how to take a camera? We only need one command line, which is pycam2.start and capture file. And you put also the name of your file. So for instance, test.jpg. And if you uh, run this script, you will see it will open the preview window automatically, take the picture one second later, and re uh, record the picture. Here you can see. Okay. If now you would like to change uh, the delay, you can write uh, delay equal to, uh, for instance, five seconds, which means it will need five seconds to take the picture. And you can change the file extension to PNG. You can save here the script. And if you uh, run it, you will see it will need five seconds before it will take the picture with the PNG extension. So you can see here we have the new picture. Okay. If we go back to the script here, we can change PNG to BMP like this. And we can also uh, not display the uh, preview window. So we can write show underscore preview equal to false, which means we will not see the preview window. So we save it. We can run the script. If we run it, you can see there is no preview window. And after more than five seconds, you have your file here. Okay. Now I would like to show you how to change the size of the file. So if we uh, open, uh, so yes, I rename test resize. If you open it, uh, if you open the picture, you can see the size. But if you would like to change it, you can create a, GP, a JPG uh, picture. We don't need it anymore. Uh, what you have to do is to configure your camera. How to do it? You can write uh, config equal to, and you use pycan 2create underscore still underscore configuration. And inside the parentheses, you can write the size. So size uh, is, for instance, 640 and 480. Okay. And inside, inside the capture uh, command line, you can add capture underscore mode equal to config, which is a configuration with the size specification. We can save the file and if we run it, you will see another file Okay, here with the size, the specified size. Okay. One last thing I would like to show you is how to take, uh, how to record a video with the Pi camera. So we will go back to the, the script and we will uh, delete the config uh, command line. And what we can uh, add here is simply pycan 2start underscore and underscore record underscore video. You specify the name of your video, so test.mp4, and the duration of the video, so for instance, uh, five seconds. If you run it, so first we save the script and then we run it.
OK. You will see the script is running, the file is created, it will take more or less 5 seconds, and if we open the video, you can see here the video with my arm uh, in the camera. But if you would like to preview the camera during the recording, you have to add at the end of the line show underscore preview equal true. And then if you run this script like this, you will preview the uh, camera during the recording. So one, two, three, four, and five seconds more or less. If you open the file, you have here the video. Perfect. So now you know the basics of the Pi Camera 2 library that's all for the video.